a warm welcome to all of you in this online maths lesson for 5th class we all know time is very precious so we will learn addition of different units of time in our daily life we do so many activities we don't ever notice the time taken in doing these activities today when we will learn about the addition of different units of time we will be able to calculate the time spent on these activities so let's start our today's lesson we all know the different units of time these are hours minutes and seconds etc each clock has three hands the fastest hand tells us about the seconds the long hand shows the minutes and the short hand is there in a clock to tell us the hours today we will learn how we can know the second minutes and hours from the face of a clock in this clock it is 3 o'clock now the minute hand takes one complete round in 60 minutes so 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes now notice the clock has struck 4 1 hour has 60 minutes now notice the seconds hand it covers one round in 1 minute 60 seconds is equal to 1 minute let's learn to add seconds minutes and hours it is holiday today and kiran woke up at 6 am she is a good girl she brushed her teeth after brushing she took bath then she had her breakfast now kiran is ready how much time did she take to do all these activities in the morning how much hours and minutes did she spend we will find it out now she took 2 hours and 10 minutes to do all these activities in the morning after doing all this she started studying at 9 o'clock how long did she study how many hours and minutes did she spend studying yes she spent 1 hour and 20 minutes studying from exercise 6.6 question number 1 In part A, we will write down hours and minutes in separate columns. Two hours, ten minutes, and one hour, twenty minutes. We will add minutes into minutes and hours into hours. The answer is three hours, thirty minutes. Yes. After this, we will know about seconds. This is a second hand, and we will learn about the addition of seconds now. Kiran started watching TV at three o'clock. and when she got up the time was 4 10 and 20 seconds how much time did she spend in watching tv she spent 1 hour 10 minutes and 20 seconds in watching tv she went out to play when it was 4 10 and 20 seconds and then she came back how long did she play she spent 3 hours and 20 minutes for playing Now let's do question number two, part A from your textbook. Add one hour ten minutes twenty seconds and three hours twenty minutes zero seconds. Write it like this on your notebooks. We will write hours, minutes, and seconds in different columns and we will add them separately. Now after adding, we will get four hours thirty minutes and twenty seconds. How many hours are there in a day? It's twelve midnight in clock, and now it's twelve noon. We use a.m. to denote this time duration. From twelve noon to twelve midnight, the time is denoted by p.m. We use a.m. and p.m. separately. What's the difference between twelve noon and twelve midnight? Yes, it is twelve hours. and likewise the difference between 12 midnight and 12 noon is also 12 hours 12 plus 12 is 24 hours so one day is equal to 24 hours every year has 12 months 12 months is equal to one year each month has 28 29 30 or 31 days and we all know every week has 7 days now we will learn how to add months and years Kiran went to a school she started from pre primary and completed second class in this school 
it took four years and eight months in that school. Then she went to another school for third and finished up to fifth class there. It took three years and five months there. How much time did she take to complete study from pre-primary to fifth? We will add. Write years and months in separate columns. We will add the numbers column wise. 8 plus 5 is 13 months. We know 12 months is equal to 1 year. So, 13 months is equal to 1 year and 1 month. Now, adding years we get 4 plus 3 is equal to 7 and 1 more year is equal to 8 years. So, we will get 8 years and 1 month as the answer here. Now, it is homework time kids. You have to do question number 1, 2 and 3 from exercise 6.6 .6 of your book. We have already done one part from each of these questions. Stay tuned to your online studies. Take care. Thanks.